Well, y'all know I'm a crier already, so who cares? Um, I had to send it to my mom and my sister and, like, be like, is this a, or is it a typo? Did they save, like, $50? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about the safety of unregulated wellness products that, though most of them just work their way through your system, have been known to hurt and even kill people. But on top of the potential physical harm this stuff could do, there's the financial harm the wellness industry inflicts upon us. The millions of dollars millions of people spend on tens of thousands of products and services that might not or simply don't work The complicated thing about wellness is that it means something different to each of us. I hated almost every wellness treatment I got during this journey. Almost every wellness treatment. It was called a tuning fork session, which I kept referring to as getting forked. After we were done and I sat up in a daze, like feeling super stoned, she said, this is going to sound weird, but are you sure this is your first time doing this? Yes. Okay, because you gave over to the experience faster than any first-time client I've had. Usually people are uncomfortable or ask questions, but you were just out. So, I hope you don't mind, but I did a little work on your inner child. Was I still me, the skeptic, the cynic, sitting there feeling better than I had in a really long time? I don't even feel like making any jokes right now. It was so... (laughs) Like, um, I don't know. I'm feeling emotional. Um. I would go so far as to say I didn't feel like me in that moment, but I felt well. Please to the stage, Jane. Thank you. Um, I don't have anything prepared. I'm overwhelmed by how awesome this has been, (laughs) this whole um, event. The only thing I had prepared was that my daughter, who's here with us, um, kept asking me if this was going to be like the Golden Globes, and so I wore this (laughs) to get as close as possible. (laughs) We did it, Goldie! Um, Now, I want to say that when I got the email about this, it is very heavy, I did have to work out for the latest season of The Dream, but I didn't like it enough to really bulk up. Anyway, um, when I got the email, I was completely like, am I having a stroke? What's happening? I have won a couple of awards, but as a part of a team supporting other famous people, (laughs) and I did not ever see something like this coming. Oh, well. Y'all know I'm a crier already, so who cares? Um, I had to send it to my mom and my sister and, like, be like, is this a, or is it a typo? Did they, they save, like, $50? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And then I read the mission statement, um, and I was so excited. And honestly, like, reading about the kind of curation of this kind of work and trying, you know, r- getting back into the space of public radio and public broadcasting, but in the new digital age was so thrilling to me. And I, it made me miss Third Coast, Julie. <laughs> it really made me miss Third Coast so much, a place that I grew up making radio and going to this conference um, where we all got to play our weird stuff for each other and be like, is this working at all for anybody? <laughs> so... Um, Anyways, yeah, and also I want to say I come from a place that people in my industry often, if they're, at, like, at public radio, don't come from. I grew up outside of Flint, Michigan, and um, I didn't go to a good college, <laughs> and I just learned Pro Tools and worked my butt off, and um, it's weird that I get to somehow make a living uh, – being angry about the things I was angry about as a teenager (laughs) and in my 20s and just kind of staying angry. So um, thank you for helping me do that for probably another year. And then we'll see what happens. I don't know. (laughs) But I I feel so, um, so lucky. Thank you.